students in East Tennessee headed back to school this week, doctors want to remind you that for some kids, the start of a new year can come with a lot of anxiety. Fernando joins us in the newsroom. You spoke to, spoke to a local doctor who says there are ways that parents can lessen the burden. Yeah, that's right, Abby, Heather, good morning. So that doctor that I spoke to says, you know, with like many other illnesses, when it comes to anxiety, you want to be proactive rather than reactive. So here are some things he says you should prioritize if you want to minimize anxiety in your children. Number one, organize and use a calendar. This reduces the chances of any last minute Sunday night surprises. And I know we've all been there. Also prioritize sleep. If your kid is struggling to go to bed early after the summer, set the bedtime about 15 minutes minutes earlier every two to three days. Number three, make sure you're setting realistic expectations for your kid and finally encourage them to let you know whenever they feel stressed. Show that you know you have a genuine interest in their feelings, you know, uh, validate their emotions and let them know that, you know, you have their best interest at heart. You know, you want them to be the best, healthiest and happiest that they can be. Dr. Wilson wants to remind you that anxiety and depression can cause physical symptoms, and those could include headaches, abdominal pain, nausea, and rapid heartbeat. Just some things to keep an eye on. Now, if you do notice anything unusual on your child, Dr. Wilson says you can talk to your pediatrician or family physician, and they may recommend things like therapy, counseling, or medications. Ladies, back to you. All right. Thank you so much, Fernando. And